The strings louder. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Switcher T Scored, and today I'm bringing you guys a mothership with the gem camo here in Black Ops 3. And uh, I was playing 6v6 domination on the map Fringe with a KN44. And I think I'm actually going to start up a new mini series, you guys. I like to try to do a lot of like mini series and stuff on my channel, but this one, you guys, I'm going to be posting a mothership with as many uh, legendary and epic camos as I can. There's a lot of them that I actually still don't have, which I think is pretty weird. And some of them that I do have, I only have for like really 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 bad guns like a couple of the snipers or like some of the secondary pistols and stuff but uh, for all the ones that I do have on good weapons that I can actually get a gameplay with I'm gonna try to post a mothership with all the legendary and epic camos uh, some of them are really really cool like this one here you guys the gem camo uh, I think to be honest of all the camos in black ops 3 I think the gem camo is my favorite and after four or four and a half days of playtime I actually only have it on the KN44 so I have pretty Pretty bad luck when it comes to supply drops I usually only do commons though just because I can't wait to save up and do a rare and it feels like whenever I actually do a rare I don't even seem to get very much you know good items and stuff so I think I'm mostly just going to stick to like doing common supply drops and stuff like that but uh, for this series you guys it's going to be cool because I can still post some more good gameplays like I'm going to be posting motherships and then I also am going to show you guys some of my favorite camos and you guys can see some of the really cool epic and legendary camos and I think it's just going to be something kind of fun to do on my channel and it's a way for me to post some more gameplays and stuff so hopefully you guys will enjoy that and uh, in this video you guys I want to actually talk a little bit about supply drops so uh a couple of weeks ago, they released all these new weapons, and uh, most of them were all the melee weapons. They released, like, the sword, and, uh, well, the brass knuckles and the wrench and stuff were kind of old, but they released the sword, they released, um, what else, the butterfly knife, like, they released all these new melee weapons and stuff. And, uh, for some reason, you guys, like, I never can seem to get any of the new things. I do have the wrench, but I got that a couple of months ago. Like, that was one of the old melee weapons. And all the new ones, you guys, like the crossbow, the NX Shadow Claw, and then the Marshall 12, I think it is, like the shotgun pistol, and all the melee weapons, I can't get any of them. I've opened so many supply drops, and, uh, I mostly do commons, like I said, just because I can't really wait. But, I swear, you guys, I've opened, like, 50 or 60 common supply drops, and I I haven't got any of the new weapons so uh, a lot of people are saying like you have a way better chance of getting them if you do uh, if you pay for them like if you buy cod points and then you do your supply drops through cod points but and I honestly think there's some truth to that I've seen some youtubers uh, they pay for cod points and then do their supply drops and in only a couple of supply drops they already get like one of the new melee weapons and uh, I really want to get the new weapons you guys like I don't care that much about a couple of them but I really want to get the sword uh, the sword just looks absolutely insane it looks like so much fun to use like i mean what call of duty game can you use like a freaking sword and like you don't see people in modern warfare 2 like running around with a sword and getting kills so i really want to get the sword and i also want to get the nx shadow claw as well which is the crossbow uh, the funny thing is, you guys, I actually see people with the crossbow online a lot, and I pick it up off the ground every time that I see it, and I already have the NX uh, Shadow Claw level 6 already, and I don't even have it unlocked, so uh, by the time I actually get the weapon out of a supply drop someday, I'm already going to have like half the attachments on the gun, maybe even all of them to be honest, who knows, but... Uh, I just want to say, you guys, like, I really, really hope I can actually get some of those weapons. I want to try to go for a mothership with the sword and also with the shadow claw. So, uh, let me know in the comment section down below if any of you guys have those new weapons. Uh, I, I don't know anyone personally who has them. I just see YouTubers who have, uh, the new weapons and stuff. And some of the gameplays are so insane, you guys. I've seen guys with, like, nuclears with the sword and nuclears with, like, the horrible Marshall 12 pistol and stuff. And people are just insane with gameplays these days but I really hope that I can get the sword and the shadow claw and uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to say today you guys here was the gem camo probably my favorite camo in black ops 3 and hopefully you guys enjoy Hey, sorry guys, I ran out of time, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this gameplay. It's a gem camo mothership, and hopefully it's going to be the start of a brand new series. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.